Hello. So it is Saturday. Your girl started vlogging yesterday because it was a big day, right? The gym opened. I was super pumped to get a lift in. Your girl also got sick yesterday. I have no idea, literally no idea what happened to me. I don't know if I like actually had a stomach bug or if I ate something, but that was not a good time. Not a good time. So I didn't end up lifting yesterday, but I am about to go to the gym now and train legs. I feel basically normal, like 95%. I think it's just gonna be a little bit for my stomach to be normal again, but it is insane how much better I feel. That was, I, I can't, I don't wanna talk about it. But anyways, I wanted to pick this vlog back up because now it really is gonna be my first lift and I'm just lifting alone. So I'm not gonna have, I'm not gonna film it but I'm so, so excited to get back in there and get my leg day machines back in, but um, like back into my programming, <laughs> but I am just easing back into things over the next few weeks. Like I'm gonna take like four full weeks, like a month just to like ease back into things with my recovery and everything. So I've basically already been through one week. So we got three left. So I'm not gonna do anything crazy, crazy, but it's gonna feel so dang good. And just wanted to give you a quick update. So that's on the docket for today. I have been doing a little bit of work this morning to get the free challenge set up for you all. It's five steps to food burrito. And I'll put the link in the description box if you wanna sign up. You should sign up, okay? Because we're gonna be diving deeper on all things nutrition to help you find food freedom, dude. Like if you are scared to eat that burger, if you're scared to lose all your progress, if you have trouble like eating out at social events or at restaurants and like it really bugs you, or if you're just like not seeing progress and you're like, yo, what is going on? We're here to teach you, okay? Because nutrition is such a huge piece of physique progress. So no matter your goal, you need to have your nutrition locked down. So sign up for that. It's gonna be a good old time. We're gonna have daily lives, emails, all that good stuff. But I'm gonna get myself together now. Um, just probably bring some wheat thins. I ate a fuck ton of wheat thins last night and it was great. <laughs> so yeah, that's the update. And I'll probably catch up with you um, maybe at the gym, but probably after. Okay, so I realized I did not update you after the gym. So the quick recap is, best day ever, had a great leg day, did my 30 for the kids, and it was a great old time. So came home, did a little bit of work, and now we are about to go to our friend Kendall's birthday dinner. And if you watched the last video, then you saw, we went and saw the sunset with her on her actual birthday. But tonight is the first time in literally months since before all the bullshit started that we are dressing up and going out to do something. I'm not sure how to feel about it, but wanted to give you the update, wanted to show you the outfit. So this is actually a crop top. It looks like a bodysuit, but it's just a crop top. Um, I think it's from Brandy Melville. And then these pants are from Misguided. They're super old. And then, you know, the classic booties. Um, also don't mind my yoga mat and my meditation pillow because this is where I do that every morning. But anyway, this is the look and I'm not gonna bring this big old camera out because I don't trust myself with it. But anyway, that's the update. We're gonna go enjoy dinner. I will give you a review of how this experience goes. I'm under the impression that we probably have to wear a mask like walking in there and then once you sit down, you can take it off. That's what I've heard about most places um, and the reservation is limited to 10 people. So I made it. <laughs> but anyways, like I said, that's the update and I will Catch you afterward. Okay, we got Fleeky Lex here opening some packages. But um, what is the uh, review on our dinner experience? Guys, it was so great. Like there was a limit of 10 people at our table, yeah. but like it just felt very normal besides the waiter had a mask on. But like the rest of it was normal. And then we went to Cold Stone, we took a little stroll and they only let like a certain number of people in at a time, right? Yeah, like only so many could fit. But like, it was so great. And 
you know you have good like really good friends when even if you go like 12 weeks without without seeing each other it feels like nothing changed mm -hmm. you know yeah so i know this week is like the first week we've really been able to like hang with our friends and like i just part of me is like wow well, i'll never take this for granted again and part of me feels like quarantine just never happened which that would be fucking great <laughs> So yeah, it was a lovely experience. Clearly, uh, since we were eating, we were not wearing masks, but it was dope. Um, the food was really good. The like area in San Diego where there's lots of like authentic Mexican restaurants is called Old Town, and so that's where we were. And it was bomb. And then yeah, we went to Cold Stone. I got a little bit of a little bit of cake batter ice cream with some Reese's and Oreos, and that was about it. So. I am ready to take my makeup off and chill balls. I'm gonna continue this vlog into tomorrow because we didn't do too, too much today. And I will see you then. Hello, it is Sunday now and I am just making my pre-workout meal. About to go to the gym and I don't usually train on Sundays, but lately I have been on very much not a schedule with training because I'm just resting when I need to, listening to my body and like, wow, we made it. We fucking made it here. Didn't I just say like a month or two ago, oh my God, I just, I would love to get to a point where I wake up and I'm okay with not training. If it's not like a planned rest day, like we made it, we made it. But my body apparently had to just really shut down to, to help me make it here. So anyway, there's that. But I wanted to show you my pre-workout meal. The uh, protein portion is gonna be egg whites and uh, sugar-free ketchup. I did not intend to make this many egg whites, but um, I, I used a bigger pan and I wanted to fill up the pan and now I just have a lot of egg whites. So it's probably like 30 grams of protein, which like great, but I, I just don't usually eat this much. So anyway, there's that. And then the, the, uh, carb and fat portion of this meal is going to be the new blueberry muffin cream of rice from pride foods. Like, so let me try it the other day. She got me a bag cause she's the best and it was really good. It smelled really good. I have it in the freezer right now. Just letting it cool and um because it's like the freaking sun when it comes out of the microwave and then i will put almond butter on it but yeah i'm gonna go train delts i wrote down abs i really need to do abs but by the time that i get upstairs and i do my 30 for the kids i'm like you know how it goes with abs you know what i'm talking about but uh yeah that's the plan did a little bit of work this morning we've been yo I am not even trying to flex right now, but we got so many new clients this week. We have been so busy on calls and getting them all set up and it's freaking dope. But I think I mentioned this in this video already. Uh, if yes, if I have, this is redundant. I'm not sorry. If not, this is news, but we just hired another alignment coach. Uh, it's our friend Deanna. She's actually been helping us with the Instagram since alignment launched. And we are looking over VA applications tonight. We, we got 70 applications for um, the VA position. So that's cool, but we have a lot of narrowing down to do, and we're going to advance a handful of them to the next round, and we will go from there. So really, really exciting times, and we are definitely um, talking with another potential uh, alignment coach this week. So it's just fucking awesome, dude. It's so cool, so, so cool. But last night it was really good to talk with everybody at dinner. We don't usually talk business, all of us, um, but we'll ask, you know, like, how are things going? And like, even all our friends are like hiring um, coaches to their team. And I'm like, look at all of us changing lives out here, man. Like, yes, everybody take control of your health, get some accountability. Oh, so, so excited. So anyways, uh, we are taking on one-on-one -on -one clients. You know, the team is growing. The application is always in the description box. So if you need some accountability, you need some help with nutrition, training, your fitness life, apply. Okay, we're more than happy to help you. But as far as today goes, I'm gonna go train. Just finished up some work. Like I said, we're gonna look through VA applications later. And then we're gonna have a girls' night, okay? Deanna's coming over. Our friend Marissa is coming over. And I think Kendall's gonna come over too. So uh, all this social stuff has really just been making my heart overflow. It's so lovely. So anyway, I was hoping to record today's workout, but Lexi and I had a miscommunication. So she's training with Marissa. I'm training with myself. But it's okay, because I like putting my headphones in and just like, you know? You know, so anyways, I will catch up with you when I catch up with you.
Hello. Update. Uh, Lex and I spent our afternoon looking over um, 80 plus VA applications. So it was crazy. And like they were all oh, so good. Like it was hard. I was not expecting it to be that hard. No, me either. I was like, whoa, like we've never done this before, but we want to make sure we give everyone a fair chance. We're like looking through everything. We're like, we can't just pick like one person out of this. Yeah, no, there's a lot of really, really qualified people. So yeah. yeah. So the update is in our time, the handful of applicants that have advanced to the next round have been notified. And if you're someone who applied and you did not advance, please, please do not get discouraged. We seriously appreciate every single one of you. And there will definitely be opportunity in the future as we continue to grow. So just exciting times around here. The girls are about to come over, our friends Marissa and Deanna and potentially Kendall a little bit later, but I just wanna show you some food because why not? So I like to have fruit as my like dessert after dinner. It's just a nice little thing. Get some micro nutrients in, get a little bit of fiber. So I just have a banana, some strawberries and raspberries. Those are all my freaking faves. And then, you know, I put some chocolate chips on there because today I've just been thinking about chocolate chips a lot. So I decided to eat some. <laughs> so yeah, wow, this is another vlog where I failed to stay committed. So maybe, um, you know, we'll vlog a little bit tomorrow too. Tomorrow the car is getting worked on. It's getting something done that it's needed for a very long time. My car is just very loud and rattly. And that is because one of the motor mounts has essentially disintegrated. So my engine is just rattling around and it makes me sound like I drive an old piece of shat. So tomorrow <laughs> we're getting business taken care of um, and otherwise it'll be a normal work day. So I'll probably just see you in the morning, update you then. Um, but for now I'm gonna enjoy this, enjoy girls night and chill some balls before we start a fresh week. Well, it's another day of this vlog where I failed to vlog. You know, it's freaking 6.37 p.m. Monday. But we got a lot done today. I am just a tired girly. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully, it's just like my hormones are like doing their thing and making me tired. And then we're going to have a period soon. I don't know. That's what I'm banking on. But we're going to go catch the sunset. We're going to catch these vibes because that's what we deserve after a long work day. And uh, <laughs> I'll show you the sunset because... There's nothing better than a San Diego sunset. San Diego sunsets are the best. Oh, oh, hi, <laughs> hi. Wow, you guys are like kind of matching. You are. We are matching. Oh, wow. Shit. Come to me. <laughs> So fucking pretty. But you guys are prettier. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello. Hopefully you enjoyed that little sunset, little beach visual. We chilled for a little bit and then we went to Ralph's and just got home. So I'm just gonna wrap this vlog up. I'm not saying I'm giving up on it, but it's it's time for this to be done. So um there's that. If you are hanging with me, appreciate you always. Um I will probably start a new vlog here in a couple days, maybe later this week or so. So there's that. But as always, if you watched until now, I'm taking all my good vibes. I'm sending them your way. If you could give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell before you leave, that would be dope. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Oh.